friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today I am here to share with you three air fryer recipes. We have a dinner, a lunch, and a dessert and we have a little bit of a fail kind of recipe. So if you're excited for three WW calorie friendly air fryer recipes, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you just want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things including my air fryer that I'm using in today's video will also be down in that description box. Head on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you there. We have a great challenge starting July 1st. So let's jump into these three WW friendly, calorie friendly air fryer recipes. For today's video, I'm using my brand new Joy Ouse 5.8 quart huge basket air fryer. I am loving this air fryer. It's so aesthetically pleasing if you have to leave it out on your counter and look at the size of this basket. It's an all metal air fryer and it's made from the highest quality heavy duty aluminum inner cavity. I love how the basket is removable so that you can clean not only the basket, but the actual basket tray or drawer that goes into the air fryer, close the plastic tab and it's secured back in place. It also comes with the silicone mat a pizza tray, of course the instruction manual, as well as a little recipe booklet. I'll show you some of those recipes here in a minute. And this cake pan, which I am actually using for one of today's recipes. What I love about this air fryer, it also generates a 360 degree hot air vortex, so it cooks your food thoroughly and quickly. It's great for steak, chicken, fish, veggies, fries, homemade pizza, cakes, or desserts. You can even cook an entire whole chicken in this air fryer. So let's start cooking. Recipe number one is going to be some air fried mac and cheese. Of course, I'm using my fiber gourmet elbow pasta. This is 100 calories versus 210 of traditional pasta, making it only two points versus five or six of regular pasta for a two ounce dry serving. And to make it a mac and cheese and save on points and calories, we're going to use this Anthony's cheddar cheese powder. I do pick this up off of Amazon. I will link both the fiber gourmet pasta as well as the Anthony's cheese powder down in the description box. So I'm going to boil my pasta, cook it per package instructions, and then I'm going to add just the tiniest bit of milk and one quarter cup of the Anthony's cheese powder. And then I'm going to mix this together really, really well to make sure that that cheese gets nice and covered on all of the pasta. And then this is going in the fridge to cool down. Three hours later. Now it's time to put together the air fried mac and cheese. So I'm going to be using one egg and then we're also going to be using some Italian style breadcrumbs. You can really use any breadcrumbs. And then here is my nice cooled mac and cheese. It's important that this is cooled so it sticks together in that air fryer basket. So I'm going to go ahead and add one whole egg. I'm going to stir this together really, really well to make sure that the egg gets coated on all of that pasta. That's what's going to help bind it together as it air fries in the air fryer. And then I'm also adding one cup of those Italian style breadcrumbs. And again, I'm going to stir this really well. We really need everything to be nice and incorporated so that it sticks together. That's essential for this recipe. Spray the cake pan of this air fryer with some nonstick cooking spray, and then go ahead and add in your macaroni and cheese mixture. What I'm going to do once I add in all of the mixture is take the 
back of my spoon and really just press that mixture down into this pan. That's really going to help it solidify together and stick together so that it makes that baked spaghetti, that baked macaroni texture when it comes out of the air fryer. And then I'm going to put this into the basket of the air fryer and then we'll put the entire basket, including the mac and cheese, into our air fryer. I generally cook everything at 400. I don't know why. That's just the temperature that I like to pick. And then time-wise, I just watch it. I pop it open about halfway through, but I am going to set this for about 15 minutes. It ended up taking a lot less than that, maybe half. And look at how absolutely stunning this mac and cheese looks. I will put points calories here on the screen for you. And then of course, this recipe, like all of my others, is on my recipe website. For recipe number two, we are making air fryer chicken flautas. I'm very excited for this. I was going to make these in my oven, but it sounds really good in the air fryer. You're going to start with some salsa. You'll also need some one third less fat or low fat cream cheese, a can of chunked chicken breast. I just buy mine at Costco. Make sure you drain this really well. Garlic powder and cumin are the two spices that you'll need to give it that Mexican flair. And then some tortillas. I'm using a one point per tortilla, so make sure that you do that as well for the points to match up. And then lastly, some reduced fat shredded cheese. So this is all the ingredients we'll need for our chicken flautas. Starting with the can that's drained of the chicken, I'm going to add that to a medium sized bowl. Six ounces of the one third reduced fat cream cheese one cup of the light shredded cheese and then we're going to add in one third cup of our mild salsa now for the seasonings we're going to start with the garlic powder and then we're going to add in some cumin this is what's really going to give it that mexican flair make sure you stir this together really well you want to crush up the chicken so that it shreds nice and fine as you stir in the salsa cheese cream cheese and those seasonings just mix it really really well and then we're going to start filling the tortilla so we want about three tablespoons or one sixth of the chicken mixture per tortilla it makes six servings <music> Here is what our flautas look like in the air fryer basket. I love how huge this basket is. I am going to spray it with a little nonstick cooking spray to really crisp them up. And then the recipe said to add a little bit of salt. It really enhances the flavor. So I'm just sprinkling over a little bit of sea salt. We're going to pop these in the air fryer. Again, I air fry everything at 400. I'm gonna set this for a time, but of course I'm just going to watch it and flip and shake the basket as it cooks. And the flautas are done. Look at these. They are so brown and crispy. And I have to say that that salt made them taste absolutely incredible. So here's what they look like all plated up. It is one flauta per serving and I will put points and calories here on the screen for you. Look at how delicious these look. Add some sour cream, guacamole, delicious. And our third and final recipe, of course, has to be a dessert recipe. We are making some cinnamon roll bites. We're going to use one sheet of these pre-made Pepperidge Farms puff pastry, lemon juice, cinnamon, brown sugar alternative. As always, I'm using Lakanto. It is linked down below with a discount. Powdered sugar, also from Lakanto. Whole milk or fat-free milk, we're using just a tiny bit and some light butter. So we're going to start by combining the three-quarter cup of light butter to a medium-sized bowl. And we're going to smash that down, kind of start stirring that together. And then we're adding six tablespoons of the Lakanto brown sugar and cinnamon to taste. I love cinnamon, so I added a lot. And then we're going to stir this together. And it's going to make a cinnamon buttery 
paste. You'll see as it gets all nice and stirred together. And then we're going to remove one of the puff pastry sheets and start spreading that cinnamon mixture as thin as we can over the puff pastry sheet. Now I added way too much. I actually had enough probably to do both of the puff pastry sheets. And then we're going to start rolling this up from the corner. I'm not sure if I did this right. I think we should have actually rolled this from the side. So this recipe, as you'll see, was a little bit of a fail, but not. So we'll see it as we get through the process here, but I went ahead and rolled that up. And then with a serrated knife, I'm cutting it into eight pieces. You can see that a lot of my filling is coming out. That's because there's just way too much filling for this one sheet of puff pastry. I did follow the direction, so I'm not sure what I did incorrectly, but I am going to cut them into eight pieces, pop them into the air fryer basket. They look really good and smell really absolutely delicious. So here they are. We're going to pop them in the air fryer again at 400. I think I set this for 10 minutes and then I just watched it. I did shake the basket in between a little bit to make sure that the underside got nice and crispy as well. While they were air frying, I decided to make up the icing or the glaze. So I added one half of a cup of Lakanto powdered sugar, one tablespoon of whole milk. That's why it doesn't matter what milk you use. It doesn't affect points or calories at all. And then about two teaspoons of lemon juice. Stir this together. And this is what's going to make the glaze for the little cinnamon roll bites. It just adds that nice fresh taste with the lemon. So here's what they look like. Like I said, it wasn't a total fail. They don't look very good, but they taste absolutely incredible. Points and calories for all the plants will be here on the screen. So I would say overall, it wasn't a complete fail. Thank you for joining me on this WW Calorie Friendly Air Fryer Recipe video. Even though the cinnamon rolls didn't look the prettiest, they were actually really, really good. I love the flautas and the baked mac and cheese. You can't beat that. And it was so incredibly easy in that cake pan that came with the Joy House Air Fryer. Of course, it will be linked down below for you. And there is currently a coupon on Amazon. So if you're in the market for an air fryer, highly recommend this one. I like it much better than my oven style and it's much, much more affordable. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. All three recipes will be on my recipe website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, of course, the air fryer, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. Happy Sunday, my friends. I hope you again enjoyed these three recipes and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.